everyone, we are in Orlando, Florida, staying at the Beach Club Resort for a Disney and Universal Studios vacation. So far, we've seen Magic Kingdom Park, we've gone to Universal Studios, we've done Epcot, and today we're doing a park that I'm really excited for and that I have never been to. Animal Kingdom! That's right! Yay! What animal are we most excited to see today? What do you think, Maya? Um, maybe a tiger. A tiger. What about you, Colin? What do you want to see? Monkey. Monkey, Addy? Oh, I don't know. There's so many good ones. <laughs> I'm coming back to you, Jason. An armadillo. Armadillo? Yes. That's the most random response I've ever gotten, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Addy? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Mm -mm, I don't. Oh, probably a snake. snake. A snake? Yes. I'm always excited for lions. Lions are my all-time favorite animal. So I'm hoping there's some good lions here. We're in line for our first ride here at Animal Kingdom. What's it what's gonna be? The Navai River Journey. Navai <laughs> River Journey. 45 minute wait. Think we can make it? Hopefully. <laughs> we can make it. Can Colin make it? That's the big question. I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna do our best. Monkey, monkey. What are you talking about, Colin? Asking if monkeys have birthdays. <laughs> do they have birthday parties? No, you don't think so? <laughs> they might. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Maybe. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. What do you think of the first ride? Kind of scary. It was scary. It was all based on the movie Avatar, which the kids haven't seen, and I haven't seen, we haven't seen in like ages, so it didn't mean much to me to remember what was going on, but it was still a pretty cool experience. Uh, what did you think of it? It's just a whole different scary! Thing. Scary? What was scary about it? The person. The person. Uh -huh. What color were they? Blue. They were blue people, weren't they? They had long arms, didn't they? I can't <laughs> unsee it though. You can't unsee it. The kids are behind me starting the Wilderness Explorer program that they have here at Animal Kingdom. And it's a program where they can go around the park and earn different badges. But to earn those badges, they have to complete certain activities, which involve learning about the different types of animals that they have here at the park. What badges have you earned so far? Animal Call Badge and, and Forestry Badge. Forestry Badge. Oh, booty. Oh my I goodness. We learned about Saimang, I think. Saimang, which are, what are they? An ape here in Asia. I say here because we're in the Asia <laughs> version of Disneyland. We're not really in Asia, or Asia version of Animal Kingdom. Yes. What did you learn about Saimang? I um, thought it was pretty cool. They are a type of apes, and you can hear their call up from two miles away. Two miles away. That is a really far way, a long way. I can recognize the sound of animals calls. And I earned a forestry badge. Wilderness explorers know that trees are important to the survival of all living things. What are some other badges you can earn, Maya? Habitat badge and conservation, conservation badge. badge. So we have to look for this symbol, Maya. This symbol throughout the park. And that this tells us we can earn a badge there. We're doing the jungle trail now where we can see tigers and Komodo dragons which we just saw and a couple other animals. Plus, I think we have the opportunity to earn three more Wilderness Explorer badges. Let's go! You can see it better over there. Okay. Oh no, tigers! Rawr! Tigers are one of the most endangered animals in the world. Colin, come listen. This is due to loss of habitat. Tigers need a large territory to roam and hunt. Every tiger has a different sight pattern which helps them to hide in their habitat, observe the tigers along the trail, and draw strikes from your tiger below. Are you ready? Uh, what happens if you go in there? What do you eat? 
you? You might eat us if we go in there, which is why we're gonna stay outside. Sleep walking. Sleep walking. It's sleeping. One of the main reasons tigers are losing their habitat is deforestation. Deforestation, I bet that's the answer. I bet that's we need the answer to write we're it looking down. for. It's your badge. All right, another badge done. Another badge done. You look like a tiger. What badge should we just earn to earn Maya? The birding badge. The birding badge. And we learned that different birds, look at that pheasant particularly, had big dots and patterns all over its feathers. Yeah, and, and the, the dots look like eyeballs, so <laughs> they can scare away the, the bad guys. The predators. So we're gonna check out some other birds and fill out our birding observation card. Yeah. And, I, and I only see one. Mm-hmm, one of those. being pulled by speedboats. One of the things I love about this new world is that there's just surprises around every corner. <laughs> there's Mount Everest up here. Do you guys know what these colorful flags are all around us? You remember what they are, Jason? Prayer flag. Prayer flag. So we went for our honeymoon to China and Tibet. Tibet and we met some Buddhist monks and they had prayer flags everywhere and they were so beautiful. We brought some home with us too. Yeah. They're beautiful and colorful and I just love the look of them. <laughs> everywhere, gorgeous. Maya? Yes? I think you're the only nine-year-old I know who's still rides in a stroller sometimes. <laughs> you feel a little silly in there? No. No, nope, not at all. <laughs> well, we've left the continent of Asia and we've moved on to Africa where we're getting ready to do a Kilimanjaro safari ride, which I'm super excited about because in real life, Africa is one continent that I haven't been to yet that I would love to visit. So this is the next best, best thing today. So my favorite is A through Z. So we have a category like Disney characters or princesses, and we go through A like Ariel, and then B, and then we go all the way to Z. So what are some other categories? We've done Disney yeah. characters. We've done um, movies and TV movies shows. and TV shows. Um, we've done types of food. Oh yes, yeah, types of food, beverages, silly names, beverages, candies. So it's kept us busy through all these very long lines. Colin, what's an animal that begins with the letter A? Uh, apple? <laughs> Is apple an animal? No! Anteater. Animal that begins with B. Ah! Baronosaurus. <laughs> Bear! Bear, what about uh, B? Koala. Koala. No, no, it's a K, my bad. <laughs> Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> What animal do you think we're gonna see on the safari? Maybe some zebras, crocodiles. Less than 5,000 black rhinos left alive in the world today. They just told us that hippos can hold their breath for how long? Did you catch it? Eight minutes. Eight minutes underwater. That's insane. Tall How tall are they at birth? Six feet tall. Six feet tall. Six feet tall. Six feet 
just them. ran across and how fast can ostrich go until we learn? They can go up to 45 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. One fact you learned from the safari ride. Okay, so I have two. Okay. And I want to say them both. Okay. Alligators, Nile, Nile crocodiles, I think. Yeah, Nile crocodiles can grow up to, from 16 to 20 feet long. Wow. That's and they can go up to eight months without eating. I heard that. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. Eight months without food. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could make it eight hours. What's one fact you learned? Elephants are scared of honeybees. They are, isn't that crazy? I thought that was pretty silly. Big elephant scared of little tiny honeybees. Mm -hmm. We hear that monkeys have tails and apes don't, so that's how we can tell them apart. So if you're over in Asia later, you might see some Siamese and some white cheek gibbons. You'll have to see if they're monkeys or apes. You're welcome. And how do gorillas walk? What do they do with their hands? Why do they walk like that? Because they don't want to hurt their hands. Yeah, they have to protect their hands because they use their hands a lot. Because there's not a grabbing little kids' noses. Because, <laughs> because there's not a gorilla doctor. There's not a gorilla doctor. Your book? Mm -hmm. You got the whole got wilderness all explorer of handbook completed, all of the badges. In one day. In one day. Addie got a little bored with it. Colin got a little tired and didn't do all the badges. He missed that. But it. you got them all done. I'm proud of you, girl. And you learned a lot. Tell me one thing you learned that was really interesting. Well, um, I like learning about the cactus. When Why they have spikes on them, right? Why do they have spikes? So no insects can come and steal their water and they soak up water. So when they're like, oh, I'm so thirsty, they can drink all the water. <laughs> You're right, girly. The Wilderness Explorer handbooks are complete. The kids are playing around in the boneyard, which is a whole play area full of fossil fun. Colin, do you know what you're digging up over there? What? Do you know what kind of fossil that is? Uh, Rex? It's a woolly mammoth. A woolly mammoth, go dig it up. It's one of my favorite parts about Disney World and Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom is that they always have it's a wonderful place to nurse, so when you get tired of standing in lines for a long time, you have a place you can run around and let loose, you can climb, you can slide, and get all that energy out, and that's what we're doing right now. Wow! I was just realizing, we've done a lot today, and we've seen a ton of animals, but you know what animal we haven't seen yet? An armadillo. What? An armadillo. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> Dude of thump. You know, we do see a lot of armadillos on the side of the road in Tennessee, though. Unfortunately, they're not usually living. No live armadillos here at Animal Kingdom. We're still hoping. <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? <laughs>